Well, hello guys, this is Trent Goodmanson. I'm coming to you from my studio, uh, being recorded on my new iPhone, <laughs> not my old camera. Uh, this is a lot easier to hold. And uh, this is my first time attempting to um, make a video for you guys. Um, this will not be a typical video. This is just a, uh, uh, more like an in a reintroduction. As you know, those who, who have uh, subscribed to my channel here and seen my videos know that uh, most of my videos are about um, you know, they're, they're, de they're demos for you, those who want to paint or want to see the process. And the reason I've been absent is certainly not because I haven't been busy, but quite the opposite, is because I've been painting so much and uh, I haven't had time to, uh, to make these videos. Um, it does take some time and some planning to, uh, you know, set, I shouldn't say set up the camera, but to mentally prepare. Uh, I don't set up the camera, I just, just hold it, <laughs> as you know. But um, that won't change. But, well, maybe it will. Uh, actually, quite a few changes are occurring. Hello. Got the girls here. <laughs> so first off, I want to show you um, that I have very much reinvented myself. And I'm gonna turn the camera around here. Okay, uh, first off, here's a, here's a small uh, commission that I'm working on right now. As you see, my, uh, my figures are still um, you know, approaching, uh, you know, very detailed, um, I don't want to say photorealism, but, uh, they are, they are very softened and detailed. And the backgrounds, um, this one is kind of experimental, but it le is leading to, to some other things that I want to show you. Um, all studios are messy, right? <laughs> something that I want to change in my own. So you can see here that I've, I've actually really been enjoying playing with yellows, um, different varieties of yellows. But uh, I think the thing that really sets these apart is um, that the, the flesh, the skin, and hair is, hi guys, <laughs> is detailed while the, the negative shapes, the clothes and the background, are more or less um, just simple shapes. And I've been using a palette knife. Here's one that some of you may have seen before that I've reworked um, to give it that same treatment. Um, so yeah, these negative shapes are done with a palette knife, mostly. I can hear my kids behind me. And I've been really um, excited about this. Move it around so you can't. Anyway, um, so a lot of abstract shapes going on, which I feel like really gives me an opportunity to to share a narrative, to really create a story, but one that's not so obvious that that I have to explain everything about it. Um, in other words, um, it can be left up to the viewer to to complete the story. Sorry about the glare, but in my mind, that's half the fun of it. I actually love what happens when when the glare hits it. Um, I just love this one. I've been experimenting a lot, but um, along these same lines every time. Um, as you can see, yellow is a recurring theme um, in these new ones. Uh, this one is relatively new, but I, I didn't bring it to the point that I, um, I'd call it finished just yet. Installed new windows. Some of you didn't see those. <laughs> this this poor studio is a is a uh, continual work in progress. It probably will be for years to come. As you can see, it is almost allegorical. All these paintings. Uh, sorry, if you can't hear me very well. Um, so you know you can kind of imagine what kind of thing could be happening here, um, but it might be different for every person. Not only does it visually become more compelling to look at, but I think the story or the potential story is limitless because, um, whoops, <laughs> these girls are remodeling for me at the moment. <laughs> um, but because the, the story is limitless because of the, uh, the fact that every person can create their own story or finish it in their minds. Anyway, this is um, what I'm doing now. Um, I'm really excited about it. 
Um, a gallery is really excited about it. Magazines are really excited about it. And I am just feeling like I am finally, um, uh, I, I'm at a place where I'm really happy and uh, being very productive, in fact, I'm doing a lot of new paintings. Um, I will be doing um, some demos, but I will not be giving full demos uh, from here on out. Those will be, that's part of my new uh, business plan going forward. I'll be offering videos um, for download um, or possible uh, DVDs. Uh, we'll see. Maybe both. Anyway, um, I hope you will join me on this uh, fun new adventure. This uh, this is a continual thing. This is something that I've needed to do for a long time to implement these types of um, colors, these techniques into my paintings. Things that I've wanted to do for a long time but felt like I was um, d defined by, by my... Um, preconceived notions of, of who I was, you know, things that weren't entirely true, but I had, I spent so much time um, thinking that I was a traditional landscape painter and a, just very traditional, no, no matter what uh, subject I, I, I decided to paint at the time. But uh, because of that, that thought that I was a very traditional artist, I, I didn't let myself um, put colors in that I really felt kind of needed to be there. And I didn't let myself do palette knife because, you know, that in my mind was, was too contemporary for me. And uh, now that I've finally just done it, um, I realized that this is where I needed to be for a long time. And I held myself back. And I'm sorry <laughs> to myself and uh, it won't happen again. I'm ne never again going to be defined by my own um, false notions. Um, I, should, I shouldn't say defined. Con confined is a better, better word. I'm never going to be confined again by mine or anyone else's notions. Going to do what every painting needs to make it the best it can be. And uh, again, I hope you'll join me by going to my website, signing up for my newsletter. You'll be kept um, updated as to what I am doing. And here there will be I don't know, I don't wanna to commit to anything. YouTube is uh, not really my preferred platform. There are lots of people out there who are willing to, uh, who want to learn, and uh, those who are willing to learn um, from the greatest people out there are willing to pay for it. I hope to become one of those greatest people out there and give something more, uh, more valuable than what it costs. Anyway, that's, uh, the thought going forward and thanks for watching. I'll see you later.